Kyotai is back. Just listen to this. Like the video, hype the video, subscribe to channel, and above all, please become a member of the channel if you want to support in true sense. Many thanks. This is our Kyotai, the creator of Moshi, many speech to text models, and also earlier, around six months ago, they released the first TTS model, as you can see here. Now, this time, they have gone with a new Pocket TTS, which we are going to cover in this video. Not only I am going to install it, but also we are going to test it out. Pocket TTS is Kyotai's lightweight text-to-speech model designed to run efficiently on CPU without needing GPUs. And even on CPU, it only requires two cores. It's a production-ready TTS system with just 100 million parameters that can generate speech six times faster than real-time on a MacBook or any PC. It just took them two days and 32 H100 to train this. This is the lay of the land now. The key features include 200 millisecond latency to first audio chunk, voice cloning from a single audio sample, audio streaming support, and the ability to handle infinitely long text inputs. It's English only currently and available via Python, API, CLI, or web interface. The model is based on COM architecture, which I am going to explain in simple words, but for now, let's get it installed. I am going to use this Ubuntu system, though I have a GPU which I am going to show you, but I am not going to use that. I will simply be using my CPU for this purpose. But if you are looking to rent a GPU or CPU or VM on very affordable price, you can find the link to Mast Compute in video's description with a discount coupon code of 50% for a range of GPUs. Now the installation of this Pocket TTS is very simple. You can either use UV, UVX, or you can go with PIP. I'm just going to go with the PIP here, but it's all the same. And it's very lightweight. You can see that it is just installing all the prerequisites. It could be done any second. And everything is installed. It is ready for inference now. And you can test this with pocket TTS generate command. The first time you, you are going to run it, it is going to download the model, which is just 512k. And not only downloads it first time, but also it tests it out, tells you what, what exactly is the generation step and if everything is working fine. And you can see that it is, it has also generated a, um, you know, sample TTS output WAV file, which you can check it out. And this is uh, where it is on my disk. Let me play it for you. M TTS. I'm fast enough to run on small. So because I'm running it in my VM, so that is why there is a break. Let me try again. I am Qtai's pocket TTS. I'm fast enough to run on small CPUs. I hope you'll like me. Awesome. Okay, so now you know how to install it. You can also serve it on your local system or you can just simply generate a different speech from a text through command line where I'm just saying, hi, this is Fahad Mirza. And you can also select the voice with it. And there are multiple voices available. And now let me play this for you. Hi, Fahad Mirza. Fahad Mirza. Hi, Fahad Mirza. Yep, not bad. Could have pronounced the F more, uh, you know, prominently, but that's fine. Let's try it out the web interface. And you can launch the web interface with this Pocket TTS serve. And it is going to start the process on your local host. And then you can access it in your browser. Let me access it in real time with you. There you go. So this is the Pocket TTS. There are um, other voices which you can check out. You can also upload your own voice. So we already have tested this out. So I'm just going to see how the voice cloning works. Let me select my own audio from my local system. So I'm just selecting my own WAV file here and I'm just going to keep it, uh, you know, simple for now. And then let's 
click, click on generate audio and these are the different voices i will let it run so that you would also see So you see, it is quite good. Let me play it again. Hello, I am Freetype Pocket TPS. I am fast enough to run on small CPUs. I hope you like it. So this is my voice and you can imagine the voice cloning is real, real good. And it is sort of streaming because as soon as it started converting it into speech, you, you we could hear it. Let's try out um you know i'm just going to remove this and then we will just try one more voice here and i'm going to use a larger um, text with fentine voice let's generate it i'm not cloning it this time all right folks before you vanish into the void of endless scrolling do me a solid smash that like button like it owes you money Like this video in the comments like you just discovered fire and if you're feeling extra generous become a channel member so i can finally afford that second cup of instant coffee I'm out here explaining AI models that run on CPUs faster than my brain runs on caffeine, sacrificing my sanity to decode research papers written by people who think consistency modeling is a casual dinner conversation topic. The least you can do is click a button or two. Your support literally keeps me from having to explain blockchain to my disappointed parents as a backup career. Let's keep, keep this train rolling, hit that subscribe button, ring the bell, and let's make the algorithm gods smile upon us. Peace out, nerds. Amazing. Oh, what do you think? I think things have come a long, long way, really. And this all is happening due to this calm ar architecture, which I'm going to explain in very simple words. So this is what Pocket TTS uses. It stands for Continuous Audio Language Model. And this framework is for speech generation. As you can see, the architecture consists of three main components. First, a causal backbone transformer which starts from the pre-trained 2.2 parameter Helium 1 multi-language model. And if you go to my channel, just go here with searching with Kyotai. This is Helium model which they released around 11 months ago. This is what they are using now. And it processes both text tokens and speech latent representation. It also includes an inner monologue mechanism, a textual representation of model's own speech aligned to time steps, with a 160 millisecond temporal delay that allows the model to plan what word to say before generating the corresponding audio. This backbone outputs a context embedding that captures long range dependencies. Secondly, unlike the music version, the speech model doesn't use noise augmentation or a short context transformer. The architecture is simple and by the way, that we also have covered the other model on the channel. Um, thirdly, a consistency model head, which is a small MLP with just 10 million parameter, takes the backbone's output and generates continuous latent frames from a 32 dimensional variational autoencoder in a single inference step and that is the key here. The VAE or V operates at 12.5 Hz frame rate and uses semantic distillation from wave LM to ensure the latent representations are meaningful. So this one step generation is 12 times faster than an 8 RVQ transformer baseline while achieving better speech quality and meaningfulness scores. And you can already see that model has performed really, really well, especially when it outputs the PCM audio at 24 kilohertz sample rate. And that is how it enables real time streaming with minimal latency. And I can already see this model being used in various applications. I was actually intending to cover another TTS model, but that will be, I will delay its release shortly because I think this one is much, much better and I'm giving you my honest opinion. Let me know what do you think. I'm going to do more videos on this model. I think there are a lot of use cases. Again, please like the video and subscribe and consider becoming a member. Please follow me on X if you're looking for AI updates without any hype. Thank you for all the support.